sky and I hope that I really hope that that when the sun burns through Yo, what is up guys? My name is TJX here and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a channel art like me Like this one on the screen, yeah It's going to be looking like this, yeah So guys, what you want to do first is to open up Photoshop And then go on file New And then use exactly the settings that I did Yep Okay, so once it's open, you go you go on your browser. Images. And then you type in um channel art template. Wow. So you want to find this one and download it wait let it load up quickly yeah this one and then you download it channel art yeah and then you go on photoshop and then file place open the channel art template and then yeah it's going to show up like this then press the tip and then this is going to be the desktop tablet and then but you want to like try and make everything in the middle it's going to look like mine if like it's in the middle yeah like this and then you go on um the browser and then you download any background that you want uh, purple background Yeah, then you find anyone, but I'm, I'm just going to be using this one, and then you save it. But I got um, most of the backgrounds here, so I'm going to use a couple of here. Place. Choose your background that you downloaded, and then hold shift, and then drag it so that like it keep. It keeps it like stable so you don't lose any quality on it. Yep. And then you lower the opacity. So you know like where your guidelines are. Okay, so let's go ahead and put text in. Wait, let's make it um the official. channel off yep then you lower the size like just do it anyhow you want 28 so make sure it fits the um the desktop and mobile one like this safe area part yeah so that you can see on every devices then you just leave it and then YouTube YouTube tutorial YouTube T actually let me just make my TJX gaming yep then if you want to increase the size you can increase the size and it'll look like this or you can increase it even more yeah and then if you have a slogan just do it yeah I'm gonna be on keep on gaming I like to keep it um like a simple text so that it looks more cleaner. Yeah, this one. 
can lower it. I think this one needs to be decreased a bit. And then you increase this one. Uh, but guys, you can do it anyhow you want, but just if you if you want a, um, a good one, just follow this tutorial and just change it as you go. So, yeah. And then if you want to do um, your, wait, let me move this down a bit. Increase it. Try and make your name like more clear and yeah, so that it can be spotted so easily, yeah. And then you can put your social medias here, but if you want to download the YouTube logo, just go ahead and type in YouTube PNG yeah then it, it, it will show up like this you have to like see if the square background is there that means it's transparent then you can download it or YouTube um, Twitter Logo PNG Save it And then you can do um, Instagram or Facebook Instagram Logo PNG Yeah, save. And then you go Photoshop back and then wait. Place. Put your logo and then um if you want to decrease the size, like what I said, um hold shift and then drag it so that it doesn't lose any quality or anything. And then kind of big so like just decrease the size a bit and then you go file again place find your um, Twitter one you do the same thing by holding shift and then decrease the size oh wow move it anyhow you want and then you can go back on file find your other social media by the way guys you can like create more space and add even more social media like by decreasing it and anything yeah was that instagram yeah then decrease it Yep, I'm gonna move Twitter up a bit. Yeah. Then it looks like this, and then after that, you can just put your text in. Let me decrease the size. At TGX. Rah, nope. I'm gonna use this. Um, I'm gonna put every text that I use in the description below. Yeah. So, uh, TGX Gaming. And then you do the same for Twitter. Yeah?
And then you leave it. Anyway guys, if you want to experiment the background, you can add more background and like increase and decrease the opacity. But I'm going to um, be doing this one. And then it looks like this. And then wait. Yeah. So guys, to make um, the shadow like this at the back, uh, just do this. A rectangle and then cover it like this. Wait, let me drag this to the top. Yeah, so once it's like this, then you lower the opacity like this. Yeah, then we'll look like this. And then let's go ahead and change text color and stuff. Yeah. Uh, what's TJ? Amen. Yeah. Change it. You can make a stroke like this, and then you have that black outline. And then you can also like add outer glow. Should look like this. But I like to keep um the stroke out for this so that it looks alright. Outer glow. Yeah, and then I'm gonna change the official channel, auto glue, or the colors, or let's leave that white. But um, what? Control Z. Yeah. Stroke. Auto glue. Yeah, then guys, you can add anything else you want. Like, wait, let me just tweak this a bit. And let me remove this so that it looks more clearer at the moment. Yeah, so guys, you guys can do that. I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna like save this as a PD, PSD file and leave it in the description so you guys can download it and then change it however you want. Yeah. Anyway guys, thanks for watching this tutorial, it's been TGX and I'm out.